One of our first signings of the 2024-2025 season, first on the blue line, Stephen McLean is back for year three in the black and red. Going to be on that Cyclones defensive course. Stephen, great to see you, man. Welcome back. Congrats on the signing. And uh, how's the summer been going for you? Thank you. Uh, summer's been pretty good. Uh, pretty chill so far. Uh, just training, skating, um, working part time. So, yeah, it's been uh it's been good so far. What's the what's the part time job? Part time job is a moving company. So, All right. uh, yeah, it's my buddy's my buddy's dad's company. So he uh, he sets me up pretty good and he gives me some flexible hours, allows me to train in the morning and go on the ice and then meet with them in the afternoon. So it's pretty good. What about the uh, the off ice training? Is it something that you're on the ice five, six times a week? Do you focus a little bit more on kind of like the agility and weight side over the summer? Or is it trying to be on the ice as, as much as possible throughout the summer? Uh, yeah, I think it's it's probably different for everyone. They have their own preferences. But uh, for me, yeah. I've been on the ice probably two, three times a week now for a month and a half. And then I'm in the gym five, six times a week. So that's my main focus right now is trying to get stronger, uh, more agile, as you said. And, uh, yeah, I think as the summer progresses, I'll be on the ice more often. And probably by the end, right before I come back for training camp, it'll be about five times a week. So, yeah. Nice. Well, year three for you, was it a pretty easy decision to come back? I know you signed pretty much right as, as soon as you could, but you come back for you know your third season, really your, your second, hopefully full season, yeah with the team playing almost 70 games last year, did it seem like kind of a no brainer to come back to Cincy? Yeah, I think uh, when I left, I knew, I knew I was going to be back next year, um, barring like a, a trade or something like that. But my mind, I was always, I was always coming back for another year. Um, I've kind of felt like not unfinished business, but a little, little redemption because because of how last year went wasn't wasn't the greatest year team wise um uh, so yeah i think it was it was a pretty easy decision i'm i'm thrilled to be back so if i told you at the start of last season hey you're gonna play 68 games lead the team in plus minus i would assume that you'd be okay with that but did last season on a personal level kind of play out the the way that you feel pretty good about yeah i was uh I was really happy with uh, my play last year. I think I grew a lot as a player. Um, starting going to Hartford's training camp, I think that that set me on the right path for the year. Just showed me, showed me kind of what what it's like, the step above, and what I have to do, day in day out to to try and get there. And then throughout the year, I think I just I grew as a player and I grew as a person. Um, I think it uh, it allowed the fact that we didn't have many uh, contracted D players. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it allowed me to have a greater role and get that ice time um, playing those big minutes towards the end of games and kind of gain the trust of, of Painter and Chad. So yeah, I think for myself, it was, it was a great year. Um, obviously it's not my game, but would have liked to con contributed more uh, offensively um, here and there. But overall, like I, I can't really say a bad thing about it. It was it was great for for me from a development side. So, so you're saying we can expect more goal streaks coming up? You I did, have, you did have that, that one weekend, that one weekend heater, a yeah, wrap around, yeah. yeah, back to back games, and then only scored one. That's all right. Uh, but I'm not saying that. I'm saying it'd be nice. Right. But I'm not I'm not okay. giving any guarantees or promises. It's in there. It's in there. Well, you're a, you're an Ontario guy. I would assume that, you know, yes, this is a business. This is pro hockey. But can you take off the, the business cap aside of it a little bit and think that, hey, you know, I'm going to be in the Toronto Maple Leafs organization. That's got to be a pretty cool, cool feeling at whatever level you are for you, your family and, you know, for the, the hockey fans here in Cincinnati and Ohio. And that is no disrespect to them in any sort of light. These are passionate fans. It's just different up there with the Leafs yes. and yeah. in Toronto. And we've kind of already gotten a taste of that over the past couple of weeks with the affiliation. But I'm assuming that was a pretty cool moment to to come through and find out that news. Yeah, it was. Uh, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't cool. Um, obviously, I mean, didn't play in the 
any decisions on my end, but just, just knowing that it was a, it's a cool thing to have your affiliate be 25 minutes from where you grew up and the, the team you cheered for your whole life. Um, so yeah, I mean, on a day to day, it's not going to affect me, but it, well, it might, who knows, but, uh, yeah, it's just, it's a cool, cool little thing that, you know, I'm, I'm sure, and we have a lot of Toronto guys, so I'm sure a bunch of guys are excited about it and find it a you know, cool little thing. So, yeah. Yeah. It'll be really fun to see how the Marlies kind of work in their guys yeah. down in Deb at this level. And, you know, for all the talk about, you want your affiliates ideally kind of close by, yeah. you know, there's direct flights from Cincy to Toronto and correct me if I'm wrong, but um, you know, the, the Leafs rink downtown and the Marlies rink by the water are what five minutes away. Uh, yeah, it's, it's very close. Um, probably maybe, maybe five ten, Yeah. But yeah, right there, so, both of them, they share a practice ring too. So it's just, yeah, it's, it's cool. Especially kind of have the, uh, AHL and the NHL affiliates in the same city kind of just, yeah. it's a little different. I mean, not many teams have them, but, uh, it's not, I mean, it's just a cool little thing there. So, yeah. Do you think you'll need to, uh, I, I mean, talk about passionate fan bases Leafs are about as as top as it gets and their fans get into you know all levels of hockey they're looking at the AHL they're looking at the ECHL they're looking at guys they could maybe draft in 2032 (laughs) like uh, I'm curious to see you know and maybe it's all just um blowing smoke but there will be some sort of spotlight on the games down here in, in Cincinnati with you know level of prospects or whatever uh, that are here because people up there are just going to care about yeah. you know, the future guys that can rise up through the ranks. Is that pretty fair to say you think? Oh yeah, definitely. I think they'll, I don't know. I didn't really follow it last year. So New York may have been similar, but I definitely feel like there'll be some reporters and some fans who are just like keeping an eye more on the, the cyclones and just seeing how we're doing it and how some of the players are doing. So, yeah, you know, the Leaf fans are, some of the most passionate, but also craziest there is. So, yeah. It's a and fine I, line. There is a fine line. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah, it's going to be exciting. As we uh, as we kind of look towards this next season and back on the ice, you were you talked about just a little while ago, getting that trust from Jason and Chad, you know, either through conversations you've had with them or just you know, what you're personally hoping for. What sort of role do you – hope to and look to to grow into here um as we come i mean it's you're gonna be playing games in two and a half months that's gonna it's gonna come quick yeah it's exciting um kind of more more of the same from what i played last year i don't think uh that was anything i wasn't comfortable with uh obviously i mean i'm never i don't envision myself being the type of power play guy so i'm not too concerned about that um yeah my hope is kind of to to stay the same as uh as the role I played and then kind of progress in the effectiveness that I play that and just the uh the little things that I do towards that role but I know the type of player I am um it's it's gonna be an uh, not an ugly game but it's it's simple and hopefully an effective way that I play so I don't try and stray too far from that I kind of just do what I can and but yeah to answer your question more of the same I yeah. hopefully not a step back but you never know with who we get but either way I'll be fighting for that ice time and hoping to get a bunch and we talked a little bit last year kind of on you've got an interesting path the, the college career coming out and and you know signing that that deal pretty late in the game I know you were there for playoffs a couple of seasons ago was there a point last year, or maybe it's been this way for a while, where, you know, it feels like, hey, I, you know, I belong here. I can keep climbing the ranks here, and you know, I can be at this pro level and excel just based on the the maybe path that was a little less traveled from some of the other folks at this level. Yeah, um, I don't know if last year there was a certain time, but definitely when I when I got there and. I guess it was 22, 23. Yeah. Yeah. There was, there were moments where I was like, okay, I can, I can do this. 
uh, my my role was limited in the playoffs. Um, to be expected, we had a we had a great team that year. Um, but yeah, I think th- throughout last year, I just proved myself like I can, I can become just like a dominant player in this league. Um, and just try and use my size more. And yeah, I, I think just I know I have the abilities, and it's just doing it night in and night out for seventy two games. So you yeah. still six seven? I am. I haven't grown yet. So hoping have a, a couple more inches. I no haven't. Shrink. Well, I hope okay. not. Yeah, I would hope. Um, tell me a little bit as we kind of wrap up about you know you you spent a full year now in in Cincinnati. I'm assuming you didn't know a whole lot to expect about the city coming into it, but you know obviously when you make a life decision like this, signing a contract, of course the hockey part is a piece of it, but you got to like where you live. Tell me about, you know, how you felt actually living here in, in Cincy and what you're looking forward to for, for another chapter in it. Yeah. I mean, I didn't, before I went down, I didn't know much about the city. I knew obviously the sports teams. Um, but I've been, uh, I've been surprised in a good way. I, I really like it. Um, it's bigger than I thought. There's more going on than I thought. Um, I'm not, I don't get out and as involved as I'd probably like to say. I mean, it's tough with our schedule. Um, but yeah, the Bengals, Bengals games, Reds games towards the end of the year, those have been awesome. It's great restaurants. Um, and one thing I didn't expect was the, uh, the fans to just, mm. I didn't know how Cyclones fans. hockey league team would do in yeah. a city of, major league sports man it's just been it's been crazy it's been crazy you'll be happy to know a couple new spots opened up at the banks and uh oh, yeah. are, no. are pretty good i'm not a frequent there so yeah i uh, wouldn't say you were well <laughs> hey steven this has been great thanks so much for taking the time good to catch up with you we're all excited to have you back here in cincy um especially under that elise affiliate i think it could be a, a really successful year so we'll see you in a couple months Good luck with the training and uh, have a great rest of your summer, man. Great. Thanks. We'll see you then.